Good morning. Today is December the 6th. It's currently 4.57 a.m. 2022. Um, we're on chapter 7 from The Authority of the Believer, written by Paul Janadu. My name is Abaya Hava. Um, I'll be narrating this chapter. Thank you for watching. Here we go. Can a Christian be demon-possessed? This is a vexed question among Christians today. Some believe the devil cannot enter a Christian, while others maintain it is possible for a Christian to come under some form of demonic power. Christian experience, experience around the world has shown that it is possible and indeed it is widespread for Christians to be under the influence of demons. Hold on, let me read that. Christian experience around the world has shown that it is possible and indeed it is widespread for Christians to be under influence, the influence of demons. This is possible where people had dabbled in the occult before their conversion or allowed Satan to enter them through some incidents in their lives. For example, natural fear can turn into a spirit of fear if the Christian gives too much room in his, in his life to fear. There's no way truly born again Christian can be demon possessed, but demons can enter a Christian to carry on their activity, activities. When a person is born again, the Holy Spirit begins to live in him. He becomes the temple of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit will never share the same room with a demon. However, demons can manifest themselves through the person's soul and body. They can cause fear, worry, anxiety, depression, and bad thoughts, unbelief, and sloth. Have you ever noticed how some people are quite lively and alert during all parts of a service until it's time for the message? It is then they can't keep their eyes open for drowsiness. The devil cannot possess a Christian, but he can oppress depress, afflict, torment, or tempt. These are some of the remedies. Resist the devil. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Be alert and of sober mind. Um, and if I may, I'm going to add to this because there's actually more to this, to, this, to this verse. It's more than just resisting him. We have to submit to him first. Um, but in this in this James 4 it actually says submit to God then resist the devil and he'll flee from you. you you can't resist the devil and think you're, you can't just by resisting the devil is not good enough trust me it, he, he'll kick your butt um, he, he you can try to resist him all you want but he's just gonna be on you like like a, like a like a like a chihuahua that just won't stop nipping <laughs> you have to submit to God then resist the devil and then he'll flee um, all right, so be alert of, of be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Submit to him, resist him, stand firm with the faith, because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. First Peter five eight nine. Be delivered. Delivered. Go to a church leader with experience in spiritual warfare for a prayer of deliverance. Deliver deliver us from evil. Um, Matthew six thirteen. Matthew sixteen six thirteen. Um, the Lord will rescue me from every evil attack and will bring me safely to His heavenly kingdom. To Him be glory forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord will deliver me from every evil work. Second Timothy. 418 since the children have flesh and blood he too shared in their humanity so that by his death he might break the power of him who holds the power of death that is the devil and free those who all their lives were held in slavery by their fear of death hebrews 2 4 14 15 cast them out and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name they shall cast out devils Mark 16, 17, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils freely, you receive freely, give. Matthew 10, 8, 
be set free. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. John 8.32 It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, and do not, do, your, do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Galatians 5.1 Know your position in Christ. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. Romans 16.20 I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. Luke 10, 19. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon you sh shall trample under your foot. Psalm 91, 13. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Ephesians 6, 11. Wield your authority over him. Then he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all the devils and the cure diseases. Luke 9, 1. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction, but flee from you in seven. Deuteronomy 28.7. I'm going to do a... Uh, I love that verse. <laughs> These are the weapons of our warfare. The weapons we fight with are not weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to, to demolish strongholds. Second Corinthians 10.4. Use them. All right. So that's uh, chapter 7. Chapter 8 is the enemy at the back door.